In the center of New Zealand, a nine-year-old boy pulled a creature up to three feet long from a river. When he returned for his find, it had vanished without a trace. What kind of monster-sized worm can simply dissolve into thin air? Today you'll learn about giant worms as long as cars, about tiny sea creatures that scream louder than lions, about beings capable of restoring memory after having their heads cut off, and about many other fascinating features of worms. The story began in the Domagan family's yard in New Zealand. Barnaby was playing by the river when he noticed something strange in the water. Grabbing a stick, the boy pulled out a dead earthworm of incredible size. Its length reached three feet. The child took a photo with his find and put the worm back in the water. But when he returned to look again, the creature had disappeared. Without a specimen, scientists could only guess what giant worm the boy had encountered. But science knows of other giant worms. In Australia, for example, earthworms of incredible size live. The first mentions of them date back to 1870. Back then, people seriously thought they had stumbled upon a snake. You can understand them, since the average length of an Australian giant earthworm is 32 inches. But some specimens grow up to 10 feet. Imagine a worm as long as a car. It would seem that such gigantic creatures should be invulnerable. But Australian giant worms are nature's embodiment of paradox. With a body diameter of about three quarters of an inch, they're incredibly fragile. Their skin can simply burst if you pick up the worm in your hands. They lack the regenerative ability to recover even from the slightest damage. Vibration from plowing soil deals critical damage to these creatures. They breathe through their skin, so they're easily poisoned by chemicals. The worms live in complex systems of underground burrows, practically never coming to the surface. They need four and a half years to reach maturity. Even digging them up is difficult. You can accidentally destroy the burrow and kill the inhabitant. Scientists tried studying these creatures, but in captivity, they died within a couple of weeks at most. But the most amazing thing about giant Australian worms, they make sounds underground. These creatures produce loud gurgling sounds that can be heard even on the Earth's surface. The thing is, their burrows are constantly damp, practically soaked through, and the worms crawl very fast, creating a powerful sucking sound. Fortunately, this eerie gurgling noise isn't produced by a mouth. Otherwise, meeting such a creature would frighten anyone. However, gigantic sizes aren't just an Australian feature. In other parts of the world, unusually large worms are also found. In Great Britain, a record holder among local earthworms was discovered. Its length was 16 inches, and its weight was nearly an ounce. But giant worms don't live only underground. In marine waters, equally impressive creatures dwell. Imagine you're a Taiwanese fisherman who discovered a gigantic bright green worm resembling spilled jelly. This creature crawls and extends a pink appendage. Just such a video in 2015 sent the internet into a state of panic. Many people were genuinely frightened by what they saw, and rightfully so. The green worm is a marine nemertean, a true python among all crawling things. It can grow up to six and a half feet long and is absolutely harmless to humans. The pink thing isn't a tongue, but a proboscis. This organ shoots out like a chameleon's to catch prey. In some species, it's sticky and entangles mollusks or sea slugs. After this, the worm swallows the victim whole. Some individuals can swallow prey three to four times thicker than themselves, first immobilizing it with poison. The longest animal on the planet isn't the blue whale at all, but a worm from the same group. The giant Nemertian can reach 180 feet in length, surpassing both whales and Portuguese man-o'-wars, whose length reaches about 100 feet. This mass, resembling a ball of noodles, is just one worm, conveniently settled upon itself. When you're that long, it's hard to find a suitable resting place. But the Nemertian isn't just a length record holder. The slime on its skin contains toxins that paralyze invertebrates, crabs, and cockroaches. The worm kills victims by releasing poisonous threads from its proboscis. And if there's nothing to eat, the Nemertian can feed on its own body, then regrow the eaten parts. This unique creature is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest known animal. But there are worms even louder than Australian giants. 
Marine worms Leocratides kimura orum live inside sponges off the coast of Japan at depths of more than 300 feet. These tiny creatures, only about an inch long, can produce popping sounds at volumes of about 157 decibels. For comparison, humans find sounds around 110 decibels uncomfortable, and 130 is our pain threshold. A lion roars at a maximum of 114 decibels, but marine worms are still louder. Considering the microscopic size of these creatures, their sonic abilities become even more astounding. They literally make sounds louder than the king of beasts while remaining smaller than a matchstick. It turns out that the loudest creatures on the planet are tiny marine worms, not mighty lions or elephants. Size and sounds aren't everything amazing in the world of worms. Some species possess abilities that have stumped scientists. Flatworms can restore memories even after complete head removal. Researchers first trained worms to travel across rough surfaces searching for food, then cut off their heads. Two weeks later, when the heads regrew, to the scientists' enormous surprise, the worms remembered how to move across that same surface. They literally restored information from the severed brain. But that's not all. In the 60s and 70s, another experiment was conducted, and an even more horrifying thing was discovered. Worms can acquire abilities by eating the ground remains of trained relatives. They literally absorb the memory and skills of creatures they eat. If not for scientific proof, this would be impossible to believe. The most terrifying worms inhabit ocean depths. There, where the remains of sea giants sink to the bottom, special creatures appear. Worms of the genus Osidax, which scientists nicknamed bone devourers. These beings feed on whale bones, turning them into something resembling Swiss cheese. These creatures don't have mouth apparatus for gnawing holes, but they somehow eat through bones completely. Research revealed a terrifying truth. The worms don't gnaw, but dissolve bone tissue. They use symbiotic bacteria that produce special acids capable of corroding even the strongest bones. But they have no digestive system, and no one knows what happens to the obtained substances afterward. Imagine, on the ocean floor lies a whale skeleton, and creatures crawl over it, slowly dissolving the bones from within using their bacterial partners. They work through biological chemistry, turning the remains of sea giants into dust. This resembles a scene from a horror film, but it's happening in reality right now, in the depths of our oceans. Worms turned out to be much more complex and terrifying than we thought. From giant underground creatures to eerie bone gnars in ocean depths, they surround us everywhere. Until next time.